in the cold in South City, St. Louis. And it's me, Tony, and this is Between the Buns. And we're here at Doggy Max by Chef B on South Grand in St. Louis. And we're about to eat some hot dogs and find out what's going on between these buns. So we are here with Chef B with Doggy Max, his own restaurant, facility, hot dog place. We're here in South City. And so we are going to just ask him a few questions, figure out what's going on. How are you doing today? I'm pretty great, how are you? Good, so awesome. is, is Chef B the real name? My mom knew that I was gonna be a chef, so she named me Chef B, no, it, it's Brian. Brian. Brian, yeah, so Chef Brian, yeah. Okay. But all my friends call me Chef B and since, yeah, since culinary school. How long have you been a chef? Oh, so you went to culinary school. Okay, so. I did, yeah, start there. Ooh. Whipping up in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, 1993. Oh, my God. That's uh, the year before I was born. Oh, How do you feel? That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I am proud of my tenure in this, <laughs> in this earth. Um, yeah, so 1993. Uh, culinary school. I've been cooking professionally ever since then. Um, so that's kind of where it all got started. And it only took me, uh, what, uh, another 25 years to get to get start my business. Okay. So. so you've got your food truck. You started out with your food truck, right? Yes, indeed. Doggy Max as well on the food truck. Yes. So I know you you go to Nine Mile Garden. Mm -hmm. Do you go to other locations as well around the city? Everywhere. Back you know back before the world ended. Um, <laughs> it, um, yeah, we would go everywhere. We were uh, we were south. We were north. We were west. Uh, Illinois. So whenever somebody needed something, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs. You do it all. We do it all. So what got you into hot dogs? I guess what got me into hot dogs, and I was like. Seven, I would eat cold hot dogs out of the packet, you know, those, you know, Hunter, yeah. St. Louis Hunter hot dogs, you know, cold right out of the packet. And I love those. And then when I got grown oh. enough to know that you shouldn't eat them cold, then <laughs> You're I, like, I, Let's I, cook I them. thought if I had yeah, they cook these things, you know? <laughs> and so then, you know, funny thing, I would, I love hot dogs so much. I would just take a day trip to Chicago just to get Chicago dogs, literally drive there eat lunch and then head back, yeah. A day trip for hot dogs. Sounds yeah. Like, sounds like a manic episode for yeah. me. Okay, so then you got into hot dogs, you started creating hot dogs, you have your food truck, mm -hmm. and then you now have this brick and mortar location. Are you doing dine-in as well? Are you doing? Dine-in and carry out at the restaurant and my spacious dining room where I have two tables. Um, so yeah, you can come in, you can grab your dog, um, you can eat lunch, dinner. Um, and, uh, and we're also doing carry out. We have online, you can order online. Um, I do meal prep, so I have the meal prep menu is online as well. Is this like a, you don't have to cook dinner for the week meal prep or is this like Mickey Skinny meal prep? This a, it's a, it's both. It's <laughs> okay, both. all right, so yeah. The, the meal prep menu is lighter. So um, there are some healthier options there on the meal prep, roasted chicken, um, uh, jerk chicken, some things that are gonna make you feel good. Not be too heavy. And not be too heavy. Okay, that's yeah. actually perfect. I've been saying I'm, I'm on my hot dog diet. I eat chicken and rice and veggies so that I can eat hot dogs throughout the rest of the week. That's right. <laughs> for for all go. of this. So, so. See, it works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Aside from hot dogs, you do other food, as you stated. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've got a menu here, a nice <clears throat> front and back menu. We've got lobster mac and cheese. Yes, the lobster mac and cheese is outrageous. Off the chain. On the, out of all your many items, you say your lobster mac sells well, or do you have any other like big sellers that you feel like you... My chicken wings and my fried chicken are a sleeper. Okay. They, I'm not branded as a, a, a chicken, fried chicken restaurant, but I think I've got some of the best fried chicken in the city. Okay. And I'll put it against anybody. So Ooh! Definitely. Shalom! <laughs> Shalom. So definitely, you gotta try it out because uh, I, I just think it's off the chart. 
And then if you put my candy wing sauce, you'll so is this a sweet you'll sauce? eat your fingers off. Sweet and spicy sauce. Sweet, very sticky, and a little bit of spice to it. Okay. It's absolutely amazing. Another thing, there were some customers in here earlier, and they were like, you got to try the pickles. Yes. And I love pickles. Um, I like them on my food. I like them with my alcohol. Yes. I like salty pickles. I like my ankle swollen. So <laughs> tell me about yeah. these pickles. These are uh, Doggy Max three flavor magic pickles. Three flavors. Three flavors. It's so like a mood three ring. flavors in one. No, it <laughs> takes you. It takes you on a on a journey. So you start off, you eat it, and you taste the sweet right away at the tip of your tongue. Okay. And then in the middle of your tongue, you get that deal that bite, that a uh, little bit of sour. Okay. And then on the back of your tongue is where your heat sensors are. You get a little bit of that lingering heat in them. So you there. definitely utilize a lot of in-house homemade stuff. Absolutely. Which is awesome, that's great to see. Aside from the hot dogs, we've got selection. So I've got to ask, hot dogs. Yes. What is this F the Cubs dog? F the Cubs, <laughs> because I couldn't, could not put a Chicago dog on my menu. For years, people have been asking me on a food truck, yeah, Chicago, Chicago dog, Chicago dog. No, I love Chicago dogs, but I didn't want to do it a disservice, and I wanted St. Louis people to try something different. Okay. Because we're in St. Louis. But the F the Cubs dog is a Chicago dog. It's got tomatoes, sport peppers, pickles, relish, mustard, celery sauce. Okay. So that's the F the Cubs dog. And so what's on your doggy mac? The doggy mac is my Nathan's all beef yes. hot dog, quarter pound, Nathan's, right, fan. And uh, my mac and cheese, my grandma's recipe, it's an over an 80 year old mac and cheese recipe that I stole, I mean, learned <laughs> from my grandmother, inherited. inherited, and I put the chef -y twist on it, and you put that on there, and then a big whole piece of uh, smoked bacon over the top. Mm. Fantastic, okay. it's a knockout. Chef B has been absolutely wonderful for letting us in here. He is our Thank first you. official review yes. for Between the Between Buns. Between the Buns, I love it. Awesome. <laughs> what great. a great concept. You gotta watch this. I can't wait. So we're in here. He's in South City, St. Louis on South South Grand. Crondelet Chef. neighborhood, 5622 South Grand. Um, Grand Bates, um, if you know where that is. Um, and uh, it is, it's it's further south. So you gotta come down a little but bit further on Grand. It's absolutely 100% worth it. Also, it's a black owned business. 100%. You gotta support it. Yes, uh. yes. All are welcome, come in. LBGTQ friendly, please come in, check us out. We love all our people. Awesome, well thanks for talking <laughs> with us today and I'm ready to try these hot dogs. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, so first dog we're digging into is this Doggy Mac, the the staple of Doggy Max. This is, this thing is, this one's gonna get messy. I try not to be messy. A hot dog, beef, Nathan's, beef hot dog, mac and cheese, bacon. Going back, if you know what I think makes a good hot dog, this is perfection. This hot dog reaches the tip of each end of the bun. It's not breaking. Yo, this hot dog is still sturdy in this bun. The bun looks nice and buttery, a little, little toasty. Ooh, it's toasted. And it's filled, filled with toppings. So in regards to setup, this is a perfect setup for what I like in a hot dog. This bacon is thick. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite into this if I can figure out which way I want to attack it. Mm. It's a Nathan's hot dog. So if you eat hot dogs, you know Nathan is good. It's juicy, it's a juicy hot dog. Mmm. This mac and cheese tastes so great. It's not super rich. It's it's the perfect mac and cheese. It's not too overpowering and it doesn't feel yes, mac and cheese is heavy, but it doesn't feel like I, like ugh. the bacon's cooked perfectly. It's rare that you get bacon this thick on a hot dog, I feel like. This is a good setup. 
We're just going for it. This hot dog gets five buns. This is a great hot dog, Chef B. This is great. I think this is the messiest hot dog I've ever made or ate. But I don't even care. Like, it's just, this is great. Definitely five buns all around. Okay. All right. So next up, second dog. We've got the not Chicago dog, but the F the Cubs dog. Chef B said he didn't want to, he didn't want to taint the name of a Chicago dog. So this is a, a St. Louis Chicago dog. Chicago by way of St. Louis. That'll work. And again, perfect. Hot dog. Tip to tip on the bun. We've got the stuffings. We've got the tomatoes. We've got the sport peppers. We've got the relish, which I was just filled in that it's got these homemade pickles that Chef B makes. And we've got mustard. It looks like yellow. Is there some seasoning on here? Celery salt. Okay. Perfect. So we've got a pretty classic setup of a Chicago F the Cubs dog here. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and bite because we know the build is perfect. Yeah, let's go this way. I got to get some pepper in there. I don't think you could disrespect a Chicago dog by not doing this. Like, this is great. Mm. I feel like I'm in Chicago. We got the tomato. You can taste the tomato. They're juicy tomatoes. Oh, there's, there's pickles and the relish. I miss that. I thought it was just the relish with the pickles. I'm just finding new things as I eat. So yes, there's a, oh, I'm just tasting all the flavors in my mouth. And these pickles are amazing. Um, I was told, I'm just gonna try one really quick by itself. Okay, okay. So I had to pause. That's the flavor I tasted in this hot dog. And I was like, hold on. So these pickles have a very unique flavor. So I, I think they bring a little razzle dazzle to this take on a Chicago dog. Again, hot dog is big. We like big meat around here. The onions, I know I can go and leave and go make out with someone and they're not gonna smell these onions on my breath. I think that's perfect. The right amount of onion. I think for this dog, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 buns. Four, four and a half buns, 4.5 buns. I would give it a five, but we're not in Chicago. Fair, but this is great. So another dog to try, the F the Cubs dog. Oh man, one more bite. Okay, so now we've got our last dog, which is what I like to do. We know we do a specialty dog. We got a little extra. We did two specialty dogs today. And then our plain mustard hot dog, which is my favorite. This is how I eat a hot dog. Was informed by Chef B. That's his favorite way to eat a hot dog at home too. And again, presentation is not disappointing. And you actually get to see a lot of this hot dog now since there's no toppings. And like I said, big meaty hot dog, brioche bun. Couldn't find the words for it earlier. We've got a brioche bun here and then our Nathan's beef hot dog, and then our mustard, just our yellow mustard. And y'all know I love mustard. So you can see it all. All those other hot dogs weren't an illusion. Chef B is packing the meat between the buns. I'm just gonna just say it. So we're just gonna go ahead and take our first bite into this. Cause I'm just, I know I'm not gonna be disappointed again. This tastes like the 4th of July on this cold 16 degree snowy day. That was perfect. I've been reading dictionary passages, little pieces of the dictionary to find more words to describe hot dogs. And there are so many words, but why make it difficult? These are good hot dogs. They taste good. The meat is perfect. The bun's perfect. <laughs> I'm content. I'm so happy with this. I feel like two of these, cause I like to eat, is the perfect amount for a lunch. You can come here, eat two hot dogs, plain hot dogs if you wanted. Now those specialty dogs, I don't know. I'd probably make it through one and then have to tap out. But this is a good size. This isn't like, oh, I'm gonna eat these and eat a snack later. This, this is a meal, this is a, 
a hot dog that is a meal for sure. And I'm gonna have to give it five buns as well. Chef B has a five buns facility all around. I love this place, I love this location. And, and the food is great. I'm ready to try a lot of other things in here, but the hot dogs are where it's at. So I'm happy. This is good. Okay, so final thoughts for Doggy Max by Chef B in South South City, St. Louis. This has been a great place. Chef B has been so inviting. It's been great talking to him. The hot dogs, I am telling you right now, you need to get a hot dog from here. These are great hot dogs. I was definitely not disappointed. I'm really glad that I've never been able to experience the food here prior to filming because this was a great new location for me to try out uh, and pretty much blind react to it. I love it. I think it's great. We had our F the Cubs dog, which was our Chicago dog. We had our Doggy Mac signature hot dog here with some hot dog and a bacon, just delicious messy but good and then we had our classic dog a plain hot dog with mustard and i think they all taste very great i'm just here to find out what's between the buns and it was it was i was satisfied i wasn't disappointed so i'm really excited chef b has a lot of stuff going on in here menu wise all the foods it smells great in here we got to see some customers coming in and out earlier so he's doing pretty good out here especially in the middle of a pandemic and I appreciate him allowing us to, to come film out here. And I hope you guys enjoy. Come check him out. Find him on Facebook, find him on Instagram, uh, his website, and we'll also have some information attached to the video related, but definitely check it out.